empty apartment tour. <laughs> Full washer and dryer. So excited. This will be the office. Super dark in here because we don't have lamps. Um, it has a big ass closet. Well, this is gonna be our storage closet. Here's our living room. Our kitchen. We're gonna get a little movable island to go around here somewhere. Don't know where. That's the plan. It's plan stand. Um, bedroom. Stair bedroom. But, good God, this closet. Like, look at this. Up, the racks, the shelving, more over here into the bathroom. Bathroom number two. So I figured I would explain why we moved like three and a half months into living here already. This is a story time. Hey, if you haven't seen my other videos, Jeffrey, my husband and I moved from Boston, Massachusetts to Seattle, Washington. The little pit stop in Kentucky to see family in the middle. So by the time it came, you know, time to move, we, looked at all the places we had visited, like all the apartments, and the one that we liked the least was the only one available. So we said, fuck it, let's just sign a nine month lease, and at least we're out there with an apartment. We don't have to live in a fucking hotel until we find one, <laughs> which is what we were gonna do. Jeffrey's dad and my brother are with us because they helped us move. We moved into the new place. It's a loft. It's all fun and exciting. It's way smaller than our previous place, but we'll make it work, you know? Doesn't have AC, so moving in August fucking sucked. Um, but after they leave and we like settle in, we just start realizing that it's like way too small and like the building is like a square and we faced into the courtyard. And we had like a, a door that led outside, straight outside into the community. So we got no sunlight, literally no sunlight. Like we, if we wanted to see if the sky was blue, we had to like crane and like look out the window. So one, 
as someone who gets seasonal depression real bad, that was not cool. I was starting to really struggle. Yeah, I was just like staying in our bedroom all day. That wasn't fun. And the way it was set up, there were like no doors. It was like entirely open floor plan. The only door, only two like actual doors in that place were to the bathrooms. So when Jeffrey was working downstairs, I could hear everything happening upstairs in the bedroom because it's a loft. I felt like I was walking in eggshells when he was at work. Here's the thing about Seattle. They love talking about how like safe and secure their properties are because of like all the homeless people. They push it, it's huge. So our old place was like a gated community well, Jeffrey found out that if you go through the garage, because it's a public parking garage, you know, a few floors are there for residents, you have to have a key to get in, but if you just go through the main part of the garage and through a certain door, you can just get into the apartment complex. And with our door facing like right outside, I was like, I know it's not gonna happen. But the possibility that someone could just walk right up to my back door and like fucking break in if they wanted to, I was like, that's not cool. I don't like that, gross. Also, they just like put up a sign on the leasing office door that's like, we're not here. Call this number if you have an emergency, even though they were there. They like, they were in the office. You could see them, it's just, didn't want to be bothered, I guess. So that was fun. There was like no one to get a hold of in case something did happen. So that was cool. What else? The elevators, always down. Every, like, always down. Um, the fire alarm went off constantly. It's happened once here. I think it's us. Everywhere we go, fire alarms just always go off. Um, what else? Oh, the company that owns that building, I think it was Essex, I think, I don't know. I'm gonna put them on blast. We get this thing in the mail and it's dated for, I think like how October 31st, whatever. We did not receive it until November 3rd. So what the letter said was, hey, starting November, no, starting today, that's what it said. So I was like, October 31st. As of like today, if you don't pay your rent on time, that's all it said, on time, it will, we will report it to a credit thing and it's gonna affect your entire credit score. And Jeff and I were reading it and we were like, well, what's on time mean? Why would y'all send this? Cause like we didn't get it till the third of November and it was like hey it started on the 31st of October so like so if we had paid late on November we would just get a random mark against our credit and we wouldn't know why because we didn't get the letter until three fucking days later okay so that was like the last straw for us we were like absolutely fucking not so we tour the place right now and it's awesome it's cool it's in our budget we have so many windows, it's a corner unit. Amazing, awesome, I already feel so much happier here. And then like, before we signed the lease, we were talking to the leasing agent, and I was like, hey, just for curiosity's sake, say we didn't pay on time, which we won't, we'll pay on time, say we didn't. Are y'all gonna like report that and mark it against our credit? And they were like, no, we have something that you can opt into that you pay for to do that. And we were like, so it's something you could opt into. They're like, yeah. I was like, cool, because our other place, you could not opt in, you could not opt out. You didn't pay for it, they just fucking forced it on you. And they were like, um, that's not normal. They were like, yeah, if you know you're gonna pay rent on time every single month, you can sign up for it, pay for it, and it'll make your credit look good. And I was like, oh, that sounds fine, whatever. And they're like, yeah, it's only like $7 a month. And I was like, well, that's cool. It's our other place. Just forced it on us. 
<laughs> we were just like, um, that's like really fucking sketchy. That's like really shitty to people that like, that struggle every month, you know? Like that's not fair. We're not gonna stay at, a, at an apartment place owned by a company that is willing to do that to its own tenants. I'm sure there's other stuff that has happened that I'm, oh, every single other tenant that we talked to were like, this place is ratchet, this place is gross, elevator's always down, there's like thefts all the time, people like break into the resident parking, and like it was just really just gross, just not fun stuff you want to hear. <laughs> so yeah, I feel completely safe in our new building. We are not on the ground floor anymore, so that's fun. And like, I am well aware, and like most likely nothing would have happened there. So everything was just piling on top of each other. And like, the reasons to leave were outweighing the reasons to stay at that point. So this is a very uh, short vlog of that, but I feel like I um, let you in on what's going on. I think once we get everything unpacked, I get, you know, the apartment looking the way I want it to look, I will do an apartment tour. I know I had a very short, like empty apartment tour, but when it's done and it looks cute, I'm gonna do another one. So, just be on the lookout for that. <laughs>